allow fire signs. Let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. And it could be about pretty much anything. Love, finances, friendship, uh, trips, whatever comes up. We'll have four separate spreads in this reading. Uh, the first spread is for all fire signs. It's like a bonus. And then there's going to be a separate spread for every fire sign individually. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. Uh, please share, like, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is for all fire signs. Uh, we have Death, clarified by the Six of Cups. We have uh, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Will of Fortune. Then we have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Scorpio or absolutely any zodiac sign. This is somebody coming back to you with a collaboration offer. It could be a job offer. It could be a business opportunity offer, creating some kind of a partnership, alliance, or some sort like that. For most of you, it's simply a job offer from somebody from your past. All right? Um, yeah, we start with the death card, clarified by the Six of Cups. Uh, death could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, but death could be uh, the cards suggesting that something came to an end, to a natural end. So perhaps you quit some job at some point in the past. Not necessarily your previous job. Okay, <laughs> It could be a job from five, ten years ago. I don't know. That could also be a card of transformation. right? Perhaps if this is somebody who wants you to go back to that same workplace, perhaps something changed since uh, you quit, since you left. Perhaps they've got a new management or they have a new strategy, new vision. Perhaps they're going to reach out to you and tell you, you know what, you were right all along. It's too bad we didn't listen to you back then. Can you please come back and uh, uh, put your envision into reality, right? Um, but uh, it could also be somebody you used to work with. Perhaps they started a new job and that new workplace is hiring and uh, this person you used to work with they thought of you because your uh, skill set matches the job description right the six of cups clarifying that yeah somebody is from your past for sure and uh, the the, pay, the the rest of the spread this is them offering you a job basically <laughs> all right the page of pentacles yeah it's um, could be paperwork it could be even a sign up bonus or re-sign up bonus or a raise if they want you back they will give you a raise the will of fortune is a restart of a cycle or start of a new cycle um, the ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck yeah it's actually a golden opportunity they they could throw in uh, some perks if this is your old workplace wanting to you to come back yeah i would ask for more money if i were you uh, fire signs i would don't be like arrogant about it but be like you know what uh, yeah I, I would go back if you uh, give me this be be social about it right be professional about it I guess and uh, right next to the deck we have uh, the uh, three of pentacles clarified by the six of pentacles yeah both of those two cards are like people working together with that three of pentacles the six of pentacles is a card of an equal give and take it's a card of um, balance all right, then the, the Three of Pentacles is a good card. Yeah, this is a, when a group of people get together and do something together. So if I were you, a uh, fire science, I would at least consider. I would at least consider. All right? Cool. Here is. Uh, we have uh, the Two of Wands, the Five of Swords, uh, the Chariot, clarified by the Six of Swords, and uh, we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Sagittarius, or any Zodiac sign. Over the weekend, you're going to decide to leave. You're going to decide to cut the cord, to sever ties, and move on for something much, much better. You will feel good about it, though. You will. Yep. The, the company or a person or people you're severing ties with, they're not going to be thrilled about it. They're not going to be happy. But you're doing you. <laughs> you're doing what's best for you. Okay? Perhaps um, it reached its boiling point or something like that. Or you've real, you're about to realize that there's nothing here for you anymore. And uh, yeah, uh, we start with the two of ones. This is you trying to make a decision or deciding what you want to do, right? It's a card of a choice. It's a card of options. And uh, you're deciding to leave with that five of swords, right? And uh, the thing about the five of swords, it's never pretty. It's never pretty. So whoever you're going to break the news, they're going to be very, very upset. So be, be ready for that. But I don't think you're going to care, right? The five of swords is a card of when people sever ties, cut the cord, leave, slam the door on the way out. It's a card of an ugly fight as well. But uh, you're leaving, you're done. 
right? The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck is the start of a cycle. It's the start of a new cycle. Either by yourself or if you are starting a new job, then it's a new job offer you're accepting. Um, you could be um, getting into another relationship. You could be moving, by the way. Perhaps uh, your landlord is not going to be happy about the fact that you're leaving because they don't have anybody to, um, to move in yet, but uh, you don't care. Um, the Chariot, clarified by the Six of Swords, those two are pretty speedy cards, especially the Chariot card. The Chariot is one of the fastest cards in the deck. It could be a Cancer, you don't, but the Chariot is a card of moving forward and not looking back. All right, you're done with it. You're moving forward. Some of you are relocating. Some of you are going going to go travel or something like that. The Six of Swords clarifying the Chariot, right? This card is also a card of travel or relocation or moving on. And the thing about the Six of Swords, this card always talks about improvements. With with the Six of Swords, things usually get better. And the Chariot, by the way, I don't I, I can't remember if I mentioned it. It it's a card of victory and success. It's a card of a triumph. So whatever lays ahead is going to be much better for you, and I think you know it. All right, cool. Leo, we have uh, the Four of Cups, clarified by the Emperor. We have uh, the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Cups. We have the Two of Cups, clarified by the Sun, and uh, we also have uh, the Nine of Cups <laughs> on the bottom of the deck. You can be dealing with an Aries. Uh, we also have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have you. Okay, so you could be dealing with uh, one person or two people. If you're dealing with two people, uh, you're rejecting one of them, but uh, you're accepting or moving forward rather with another person. If you're dealing with just one person, uh, one of you will loosen up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know who is loosening up, you or them, right? But somebody, if you or the person you're dealing with were kind of a, a bit of a control freak, Right then, in uh, that person is gonna loosen up, okay. <laughs> but for most of you, I'll just focus on the uh, scenario where you're dealing with two people, Leo. All right. So we got the four of cups clarified by the emperor all the way to your left. The four of cups is a card of a rejection, and the emperor is the one who is being rejected. It could be an Aries. It could be um, somebody who could be a control freak. By the way, yeah, the emperor it could be somebody who is like who always has to be right, somebody who says some th things like my way or the highway. Uh, the emperor could be a boss figure, right? But somebody is definitely getting rejected. Uh, the king of pentacles, the next card over is getting the green light. <laughs> the king of pentacles could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn or somebody with a lot of earth in their chart. They are clarified by the Ace of Cups, yes, it's all about love, genuine, authentic love. And then we have the Two of Cups clarified by the Sun, right? Uh, the Two of Cups is a soulmate card. There are two people in the Two of Cups. I assume that's you and this King of Pentacles in that Two of Cups, all right? And uh, the Sun clarifying the Two of Cups, that's you, that's your major kind of card, all right? And it's uh, the happiest card in the deck, okay? Um, the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true. It's a card of a, some kind of an event, a party, a gathering. If you are invited by two people to go to two different events, then you're rejecting the Emperor and uh, you're going out with this uh, King of Pentacles, right? You're going to that event with this King of Pentacles. And uh, when the two of you are done with that event, when the two of you leave that event, the two of you will already know that... Uh, you have something going, not just something love. <laughs> All right, uh, really happy for you. Congratulations, Leo. Sagittarius, um, we have the Five of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have uh, the King of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have the Three of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. And uh, we have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but also water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I got to be honest with you, Sagittarius. This is a bit complex. There's just so many different scenarios here. I will try. I'll give it a shot. But what I can tell you right away is that you and this King of Swords, the two of you will have something to celebrate. And uh, perhaps the two of you are going to be thinking about the future between the two of you or what happens next. <laughs> All right? You're definitely, you will definitely have a reason to celebrate. All right, so let's talk about different scenarios. Uh, we start with the uh, Five of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Wands. All right, um, the two of you may have history, not very happy history. 
All right, because the Five of Cups could be a card of grief and regret. This card has always to do with the past. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. Like it's a card of something that's taken a uh, taken a toll on us. So if this is your, if this person, if this King of Swords is somebody from your past. Right, uh, the two of you could have broken up in the past, or the two of you just couldn't uh, get this uh, relationship off the ground in the past, and it never happened. Then it finally will happen this uh, weekend. All right, so that's scenario number one. Either somebody from your past and uh, stars did not align <laughs> in the past, but stars are aligning now, or it could be your ex. Right, and the two of you are getting back together. For others of you. Uh, this King of Swords could be like a lawyer, all right? This King of Swords could be like a lawyer, and perhaps you were struggling with the legal system, you had some sort of a lawsuit, and this lawyer is about to help you win in some kind of a lawsuit, all right? And the Five of Cups qualified by the Ten of Wands. Yes, in the past there was a lawsuit that dragged on forever, but uh, by this weekend you'll hear some good news and you'll be celebrating the victory. And perhaps the two of you may become more than just a lawyer and, uh, and you. <laughs> uh, this person could be um, somebody you work with, right? Somebody you, you can do business, you, you do business with. And perhaps uh, you guys are closing a business deal before the weekend and on Friday or Saturday you guys will be celebrating because you you killed it the deal is done and you're gonna make a lot of money together and perhaps when the two of you go out uh, you'll become more than just co-workers <laughs> alright I do see you guys becoming more than what you have now especially if it's not your ex if it's not somebody you haven't uh, tried in the past, if it's a newer person or it's somebody who's been in your life but you are not involved in terms of love, you will become involved on the, uh, on the uh, love terms starting this weekend. Alright, so yeah, those are the two scenarios I see. But uh, yeah, the King of Swords um, is most likely an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. If they're not an air sign, this is somebody who is very intelligent, somebody who wears uniform for work, somebody who is like a lawyer or a professor or a doctor. Okay. Um, if this person is an Aquarius, it could be their birthday party. Perhaps the two of you are celebrating their birthday. Or you may have uh, their birthday and some other occasion, some other reasons to celebrate. If it's your ex and if it, and if it is their birthday, you guys are getting back together on their birthday. Right, the Knight of Cups, clarifying the King of Swords, is all about love. This is the most loving, the most romantic knight out of all four knights. The Three of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Cups is a, is a card of a celebration or a reunion. Alright, so again, you will have a reason to celebrate, and uh, the outcome of that celebration is the Ace of Pentacles. Alright, together with the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck, definitely is something lovey dovey. <laughs> Alright, definitely love. And uh, it's not just very lovey dovey, it's something that could be around for a while. The Ace of Pentacles is all about long term, it's a golden opportunity, it's a great card to have, and the Two of Cups is a soulmate card. All right, congratulations.